protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com I want to thank the listeners and viewers of InfoWars. And on this Thanksgiving and this Black Friday that's coming up, we're going to extend free shipping store-wide to people specifically that have the promo code FREE. Well, in our final segment tonight, we're going to be talking about the southern border. We have an in-house resident expert, Joe Biggs, reporter for InfoWars that has been to the southern border. And we have some really troubling information for you. It turns out... Not only are people exploiting our border coming across illegally, but it looks like we have an additional threat, a 9-11 mastermind, an Al-Qaeda mastermind. He favors our immigration open border policy. Big surprise there, Joe. I know you have some more information regarding this, a piece that came out in the Washington Examiner. Let us know what you found. Well, there's a guy named James Mitchell. He was a CIA contractor who uh, worked out at Guantanamo Bay and actually dealt with a lot of these... Uh, high-level, high-tier uh, individuals who uh, really have done some bad things and will continue to do bad things. And uh, basically what this book is that he has written, James Mitchell, breaks down how enhanced interrogations have worked. And this is coming from the mouths of actual individuals who've been held there for years saying, hey, you know, this stuff, it, it, it actually works. Like, you know, I normally wouldn't have said half the things I've done, and it's led to, you know, a lot of things being uh, stopped. It says the jailed architect of 9-11 revealed that Al-Qaeda's plan to kill the United States was not through military attacks, but by immigration and outbreeding non-Muslims who would use a legal system to install Sharia law, according to a blockbuster new book. Now, we've talked about this time and time again, how the borders are completely and totally wide open. Just the other day, Barack Obama suspended drone use We're at the borders, and we'll get to that part. But I've been out on the border numerous times. We already have a wall in some areas. In some areas, we don't. Some areas, the, the wall consists of merely uh, just wooden posts with maybe a strand of barbed wire that really is nothing. And it's so easily to penetrate and to get through. Joe, what does that say to you that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, you know, a known terrorist, he's saying, you know, look, our, our weak need politicians, they're going to come after waterboarding. And, and nobody likes the thought of waterboarding. You know, it's disgusting and despicable. They're doing this to people that have, you know, not so veiled threats against the U.S. that are involved in terrorist activities that want to see our country destroyed. And oh, by the way, our southern border, they see that as a prime opportunity. Just come on through because it's wide open. Meanwhile, Trump is called a racist and a bigot. He's not compassionate because he wants to close the border and secure law and order, which we haven't had for eight years now because of our, our current president. We have terrorists saying, look, take advantage of the border. It's wide open. Take advantage of their immigration policies. We need to defeat the U.S. Here's a way to do it. We've covered this on InfoWars time and again where people, we did a radio spot about this two months ago where uh, we talked about how terrorists across the across the world are saying, look, there's a prime opportunity here. You can go right up on up through Central America, across the southern border into the U.S. And you're going to go largely undetected. We've had that S2 route. Border agents were actually told to stand down as of October 1st. They're not even patrolling it anymore. That's a known route for smugglers. And you brought us another article coming out of Breitbart, Texas. Uh, Breitbart, Texas leaders demand restart for aerial border surveillance. You touched on this a second ago, the drone aspect. The president has canceled the drones on the border. We don't want anybody looking at that border. Why do you think he's so anti-American? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you can clearly see that the stuff works. You know, like I've said time and time again, I was in the border in Arizona and I spent some time out there. It's an area called Hereford. And there is a big wall in that one area, but there's many areas where it breaks and it's very easy to get across. Mm -hmm. Now, just on the other side, Mexico are cartel houses and things like that that can be seen from this guy, Glenn Spencer's backyard. And he has this system that he's created where he uses seismic readers that go in the ground. And whenever someone walks and gets close to the border, it actually sets off these autonomous drones and then gives real time footage back to his command center. And then he can call border patrol and police and say, hey man, there's drugs coming across. There's human smuggling, mm -hmm. there's terrorists, they're armed, they're not armed, and it works. It's something that's very effective, and that's why it's important to read this stuff because I'm going to give you some more uh, quotes from this guy. It says, the book that's set for release next Tuesday from Crown Forum show that Muslim terror groups had a much bigger plan to crush America than just through attacks like 9-11. Instead, the plan is to fill the country with like-minded Muslims 
through the country's easy immigration laws and by having babies and then using the U.S. legal and welfare system to turn the country into a system like Iran. Now, the terrorist, he said the terror attacks were good, but the practical way to defeat America was through immigration and by outbreeding non-Muslims. He said jihadi-minded brothers would immigrate into the U.S., taking advantage of the welfare system to support themselves while they spread their jihadi message. They will wrap themselves in America's rights and laws for protection, ratchet up acceptance of Sharia law, and then, only when they are strong enough, rise up and violently impose Sharia from within. He said the brothers would relentlessly continue their attacks, and the American people would eventually become so tired, so frightened, and so weary of war that they would just want it to end. And eventually, America will expose her neck for us to slaughter. <laughs> and these are the kind of people that we have to worry about. That's why when we talked about the Paris attacks, when I went out to Paris with Michael Zimmerman and I went into Belgium, the way that these guys were getting across over in Europe wore these open borders. Mm -hmm. And they use it and they, ex they, they, they use this uh, refugee crisis as a way to be able to skate in and slip in through the cracks and then go out and carry these attacks. You know, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Mm -hmm. And we've seen how wide open borders can lead to death, how it can lead to chaos, how it can lead to your entire civilization collapsing. And that's what's happening over in Europe. So why would we not sit here? Why would, we, why would we not look at that and learn from that and go, you know what? Let's not make that mistake. Let's secure the borders. Let's vet who's coming across. Not only that, but tackling this, this issue where we have non-citizens taking advantage of our welfare state. Uh, and, and this is something that we've talked about here at InfoWars. Alex has covered it in depth. I know that you have a heart for this issue as well because we don't want to see our country fall. You know, we like our values. We like our American system. We like our, you know, our principles. We like being able to have free speech in this nation. We don't want Sharia law imposed on our people here. And the fact that you have you have an open leader saying this is how we're going to defeat them and conquer them. We're just going to make sure that all of these non-citizens are going to secure rights, the same rights that citizens have, and they're going to begin mass breeding. We're going to outbreed a population. Doesn't that alarm you? It's like, what? What? I mean, the guy, Khalid Muhammad, smiled and said the media, either on purpose or without realizing it, would promote Islam's cause and champion tearing down the measures put in place to protect the American people after 9-11. He said the media would promote Al-Qaeda's cause by framing the war against Islam, his characterization, not mine, and that's the guy who wrote the book, as morally wrong, impossible to win, and fraught with unacceptable losses. He said the media's response was one of Allah's gifts, one of the ways Allah preordained for Americans to set aside those things which kept us safe and prevented attacks in the immediate uh, aftermath of 9-11. So here he is bragging. He knows that mm -hmm. we're going to be empathetic. We, we have these big hearts. We're going to go like, oh my God, you know, these poor immigrants. Soros called the Catholics useful idiots when it comes to this because of their compassion. That's that's a very known thing. Well, they these are smart people. The they understand. They, they, they don't just live in caves like a lot of people think. They're not just sitting out there, you know, you know, milking goats and, you know, you know, screaming Allah Akbar all day. Like these guys, no combat, no war. They are masters of their uh, their trade, and that is manipulating people. If you go to places like Iraq and Afghanistan, it's part of their culture to lie to non-believers. It is okay to lie to non-believers. So they will tell you whatever it is you want to hear just so they can, at the end, get their way and have it. Look, this is not an assault for me on, on Muslims at all. This is an assault on Sharia law being implemented in this country. And we have a playbook by this author if this is how this is going to work here. And for people to just idly sit by, the fact that they call the mainstream media one of Allah's greatest gifts to them. You know, we've got a mainstream media in this country that lies to us, that bullies us, that wants us to believe that if we speak out that, uh, you know, we're hateful, racist bigots, that simply isn't the case. And uh, the, the greatest thing that they've done to the American people is to silence them and to push them into a corner. Don't you just love that Donald Trump pulled in all of these TV networks and uh, these big personalities that are larger than life and basically walloped all of them in the face saying, how dare you lie? You know, it, it is time to dethrone these people, to defang them because of what they've done to our society. They're aiding people who want to destroy us. If that is not crystal clear by now we haven't done our jobs frankly yeah it's pretty scary i mean it's all right here i mean here you have it from a guy who's led people mm -hmm. a guy who's a known terrorist and he's saying that he's going to use our our weaknesses completely and totally against us he's going to do everything he can to train his brothers to to exploit our open borders to tug at our heartstrings and know that we're going to have these social justice warriors who are going to stand up and fight for them and in the end 
be the death of them. Exactly. Well, you know what? We could talk about this all day long. It's of critical importance to you. Check out this segment. It'll be up on YouTube soon. That's going to do it for us for tonight. Also, be sure tune into InfoWars Nightly News on Monday. David Knight will be hosting. We have a happy Thanksgiving for you. Happy Thanksgiving for our audience. We love you. Stay strong. You are the resistance. I want to thank the listeners and viewers of InfoWars. We've changed the world. Even mainstream media admits that we're bigger than CNN, we're as big as Fox, we're bigger than the BBC, on Quantcast, you name it. I want to thank you all for your support. And on this Thanksgiving and this Black Friday that's coming up, we're going to extend free shipping store-wide to people specifically that have the promo code FREE. Some of the specials are as high as 50% on incredibly high quality products like Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver. That's 50% off and free shipping. That is a loss leader at InfoWarsStore.com. Trump is my president shirt is about to sell out. It's limited edition. It is for sale at cost, $9.95, shipping included. All you have to do is put in promo code FREE at checkout to get free shipping on top of discounts up to 50% off store-wide at InfoWarsStore.com. You can also call toll-free, 888-253-3139. But for myself, the InfoWars family, and everybody else in this fight, I want to salute and thank all of you for your support. Whatever you do, keep spreading the articles, the videos to everybody you know. It is absolutely devastating the globalists because we're on the march and the frickin' empire is on the run.